Okay, hey YouTube. Welcome to my first chemistry tutorial for simple home chemistry pretty much. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to deoxidize copper. In this case, copper coins. Right here I've got two copper coins. This is one I already deoxidized using this method. This is one that's still oxidized. Things you're going to be needing for this are a clean burning flame. I'm using an ethanol burner here. You're going to need some um, about 90% pure ethanol. I'm using 96% pure ethanol, which is in this bottle, um, and also in this uh, glass. You're also going to need some needle-nose pliers just to hold the uh, copper coin. And yeah, so that's it started. Started. You're going to have to clamp the coin as as lightly as possible. Or you're going to have to clamp. I'm going to hold it so it doesn't fall down. But you're going to have to go down to as little as of the coin as you can and you're just going to hold it into the flame like so and don't use pennies because pennies aren't going to work for this they are pretty much zinc coated in copper and zinc has a melting point of around 300 degrees celsius or something you can post it into the video and it's not going to work for this they're just going to melt So. Yeah, but something about this ethanol burner is it's already somewhat deoxidizing the copper, but it's going to reoxidize very quickly if you take it out of the flame too soon. So this is going to take some time. You're going to have to wait until the coin is actually glowing almost red hot, which is going to take some time actually. And if you go outside, down there it's already starting to glow red. There, red. So once the sides are pretty much re glowing red, like right as right here, you can take the coin and the flame's already changing its color to green. You can take the coin, drop it into the ethanol, it's going to bubble because it's very hot. There, reaction's done. Um, so, we have to take that out now. Thing the European coins don't have zinc in them. So be very careful with this because these coins can be quite hot. As you can see, it's now shiny copper. There are going to be some uh, marks there, but that's just because I'm using a small flame. Flames you can also use. Shit. Uh, flames you can also use are, for example, the uh, stove flame, gas stove flames. The quote coins already go down, and you can see it's a five cent piece. Um, they also work quite well, and just don't use candle wa candle flames because they aren't because they are not burning clean. So there you go, deoxidized coin. Uh, extinguish the buns in the burner right here. Okay. So what happened? I uh, put on this piece of paper. This is just for the chemistry guys out, um, out there. Um, so pretty much what happened. We had ethanol, which is this. I also call it poodle because it looks like a poodle. Ethanol is um, C2H5OH, uh, uh, which is this. You can also call it uh, C2H6O1. And you need two of those. As, well, it's going to be two. And you're going to... Right here is the copper 2 oxide, which is the black oxidation on coins. Not to be mistaken with copper 1 oxide, which is co uh, one, 2 copper, 1 o um, oxygen, I think, uh, which is green. And, you, and the E is, stands for the energy that is needed to trigger the reaction, uh, in this case, heat. So what pretty much happens is once you put ethanol and copper oxide together, the uh, Copper oxide push, uh, pulls away uh, the hydrogen because these things are indicated as hydrogen away from the ethanol, creating a um, set aldehyde, or in the methanol case, uh, form uh, formaldehyde, and copper and water, which is H2O for those guys who don't know. So that's pretty much what happens here. This is just the pure copper because all the uh, oxygen has been turned into acetaldehyde, which is 
now in this glass here and if you if, uh, if you guys want to know what acetaldehyde actually smells like it smells like a drunk person because that's what they because that's what the body produces when they react ethanol and try to get rid of it they create acetaldehyde and yeah so thanks for watching guys and have fun with chemistry at home and you can do this at home just don't burn yourself like I did because the coins are very hot even though they were in the ethanol so be careful there and don't use pennies because they're just going to melt and you're just going to ruin money you could do this also with just any copper like copper wire or something works too and yeah thanks for watching and please subscribe comment rate whatever uh, favorite and have fun doing chemistry so, this is Lucas from Tesla Labs, and...